Hello, babes. I miss you guys so, so, so much. I think everyone knows, like, by now, like, I create YouTube videos because people have been, like, making fun of me in, like, a very positive way, and I like that. They've been always saying to me, yeah, get on your YouTube channel, and, you know, that thing that you do, like, hi, babes, and I don't know, that kind of means a lot to me. Yeah, that means a lot to me. I kind of look at that as like a positive thing, right? You can't take life so literal all the time. Literally, I need to take my own advice. I'm glad that I was able to meet the threshold of a thousand subscribers. I didn't really celebrate it um, and I really didn't thank you guys enough and I just want to say thank you. I didn't celebrate it because I had so much going on in my life. This time last year, I had just moved in here and I just like, when unexpected things happen, I almost like feel stuck. So for the past year, I've just been trying to get myself together like financially and just other aspects of my life. And I still have a lot more work to do if we are being completely transparent. But something that I'm super proud of, I'm going to give you guys the life update here is I took my black ass to a doctor <laughs> and signed up for a family doctor. So that family doctor was actually recommended to me. And I wanted to do that because I knew there was something that was off about me. So I don't have PCOS. I don't know if I've said that before. I got the testing done um, and everything like that, blood work. So all of that came back fine. However, uh, my doctor's appointment today was to just go over the sleep apnea. Like, I have severe sleep apnea, and it has been something that I've been struggling for well over five years. So I'm just making this video to share. Don't wait as long as I did. Also, I didn't have a family doctor, and I was not thinking about signing up for a family doctor until, what, 28, 29. So I already knew that I had sleep apnea because all of the signs were there. I snore very, very profusely, sleep very loud. When I wake up in the morning, I'm always, if here and there I get headaches, um, I'm very like fatigued. I yawn throughout the day. I barely have energy for really anything. Don't believe me when I tell them like, I'm sorry, like, I can't. Like, I could make plans with you today and tomorrow I wake up and I'm just tired and I'm just not in the mood. And in the winter time, it's, like, worse. So I'm glad that I was able to, you know, get that looked at and finally have a diagnosis. And now we can actually, you know, do things to correct it. Um, I do have to be on a sleep app machine. There was options like a mouth guard. Um, like there's options, right? And a very small percentage of it could be uh, due to weight. But this was something that I had when I was like at my lightest. So the the doctor was like, what do you want to do? So I said, honestly, Today, since I'm here, I do want the sleep app machine. Like, I didn't come here <laughs> and I'm tired of being tired. I do want the sleep app machine. So I have to book another test to get the mouth guard and the different options. So the next appointment is like further down the line, but I'm going to call them and see if anyone cancels because people do cancel. The lady at the front desk was like, do you want to come tonight? And I'm like, babe. Babe, I wasn't mentally prepared. I cannot come, even though I need to be here tonight. I just can't come. Babe. So, yeah, your girl finally has answers. And you're probably like, why are you smiling? Why are you happy about this? I'm not. Mm -hmm. Just to let you know, if you don't try to um, correct sleep apnea, your life expectancy for the average person, it could be 65. For sleep apnea, it could be 50. There's like heart disease. There's a whole bunch of stuff because at night you stop breathing and like your brain is not getting getting enough oxygen. So what she was saying is because I have an overbite, which also plays a factor of the lack of, you know, air at night. So she's like, you need a mouth guard that 
essentially will push your jaw out but she's like over time your jaw is gonna be like that so maybe that's not what you want and i'm like no babe no and then i went to see a ent girl i've been all through the country going through the, to them appointments i went to also like for dating you know at first i was like oh how am i gonna tell a man that i'm on a sleep app machine i don't care if you want me genuinely you're gonna i come with this machine now if you want me to be in your life i come with the machine we come as two and that is one but by the grace of god I'm hoping within the next year, I can get this under control. Hopefully, I'll be within my goal weight and um, we'll start to see some progress. But um, I just, it's not something I'm, that I'm going to be embarrassed about because it is health. You know what I mean? I'm not going to try to look sexy and cute and not sleep with my sleep machine and slowly dying knowing that there's a whole bunch of shit that can go wrong just to impress a man. <laughs> My days of impressing men are O-V-E-R. Can we spell that again? O-V-E-R. Anyways, with that being said, so diagnosed with sleep apnea. All right, on to the next thing. I am, you guys, I quit my other job and I'm moving on. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm even saying those words because every monthly update that I did with you guys, I mentioned that one of my goals is to go on interviews, apply to a different job, and it just happened. And how it happened, I knew that it's meant to be. Usually for me, like on a spiritual level, let's say an opportunity comes up and there's so much obstacles in the way I kind of look at that as it wasn't meant to be um and when it's when it truly comes from God there is no confusion like things are gonna run smoothly yeah anyways so new job we're starting that in a few weeks I don't want to get too much into it but let's just say the environment that I am going into is wonderful women that so there is no, like, your girl has to come with her respect game, you know? And I'm going into their space, you know? So I want to learn from them. I don't, I'm kind of nervous, but at the same time, I'm excited. And another update, I changed my phone number. <laughs> I changed my phone number, and I'm going to tell you guys why. By the way, I need to text a few people that my number has changed. For me, the old Alicia, I don't feel like everyone deserves that type of access to me. The old Alicia was cool, calm, and collective. The new Alicia, oh, there's this wall that has been built up. It's like, I will always forgive people. I will always trust people, but I'm always going to have my best interest and my peace at heart, my peace comes first and I just feel like transitioning into a different stage of life I'm about I'm about to be 30 in a few weeks months scary isn't it and I just feel like I needed a new start and not everybody deserves access to you and that's exactly so yes I am super excited for this journey in life and I just feel like this job change could not have come at a better time it like for my 30th birthday I just feel like it was all truly meant to be I'm not gonna get into the whole nitty-gritty at my other job but just know that I put up with a lot first and at first I was having a lot of doubts I was like I shouldn't do this I don't want to do it what the hell what did I do and then I was like, I have to do this. Like, what is there to be scared about? Like, what is there to be scared about? You ask God. It's on your channel. You've been asking for a new job. And now a new job comes up and you're not going to take it? 
is wrong with you yeah so i just wanted to say i'm probably not gonna be do doing weekly vlogs but i'm gonna do like a vlog like every two or three weeks because that is what i can manage right now and again sleep my i'm not gonna use sleep apnea as an excuse for everything i just feel like right now i can commit to doing a vlog every two or three weeks um that's honestly how much I can give. My life is like not that entertaining. I do the same things. I don't really leave the house. And hopefully this summer I get to actually make plans with my friends that nobody seems to think that I have. I got friends, but they all think I am like, you know, moody. <sighs> okay. On some serious note though, I disappear on these friends for like six months to a year, but they know that pattern with me though. So they don't ever, ever take that personal. They kind of look at it as like when Alicia disappears, Alicia's going through something. Nine times out of the time, you write. Because when I'm going through something, I turn into like this introverted cancer I just don't want to talk to anybody i just want to process it and i just feel like that's and another thing too i don't like how you have to reapply it like within half an hour you do have to reapply the summer friday lip gloss this one usually i apply it in the morning before work in the mornings and another thing too i don't like how you have to reapply it like within half an hour you do have to reapply the summer friday lip gloss this one, usually, so usually for the Carmax one, I apply it in the mornings before work. And at about like lunchtime, I'll need to reapply again, or I don't even reapply. But today, while I was going to take passports, I put this on like in the car before I head in the passport place. And like by the time I got there and I got in line, I'm like, I'm going to need more lip gloss. So it is. I don't know I'm kind of like indifferent with it but I am obsessed with just like that nice color I like how the color looks on my skin oh and also like update again <laughs> we're just like full of updates aren't we so I have been on tretinoin for about three months now I don't know if I put it out there or the last vlog that I told you guys that I was on it I believe my laptop got broken and the footage got deleted. So if I didn't say it, I'm going to say it again. I am on tretinoin. I've been on tretinoin for about three months now. And the reason why I got on, got on it initially is because I wanted to clear up my hyperpigmentation. And I just, it was something that I just needed, obviously, medical professionals. I needed help with. So I do have hyperpigmentation mostly on my face, a little bit on my body, but that's neither here nor there. But the tretinoin so far, I do think it's working. I did notice, like I had like a, underneath the makeup, I do have like a, did have a dark spot here and it was like lightening up. So the doctor said like within, you're not gonna see results away like right away uh you do have to give it about six months in and that's when you'll truly see yeah it. so for tretinoin it's about like a pea size amount and then you just put it on the effective areas about three times a week sometimes i do two and i've been sticking to a very specific regimen and i feel like that's why my skin hasn't been like dry or super also um with this medicine if i do decide to like start a family today tomorrow it's something that i have to get off of um but it's like a retinal cream that's it a retinal cream but yeah so skin is going to be on point this time next year you know i had good skin and it was a combination of like I drink sparkling water like it's like how I breathe you know I drink a lot love the sparkling water but 
yeah and let me show you guys quickly 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 stick you know caribbean people say stick to the evil that you know okay the rihanna bb cream this i like how this looks on my skin i like it gives my skin that dewy finish and then it kind of oxidizes a little bit and this is my second time getting it originally when it first came out i bought it and i hated it and then i ran out of like foundation and it was the only thing that i had and i just tried it in the i tried it this winter and i loved it like i'm done chatting but i just really wanted to show you guys the summer friday um lip balm thing it ain't worth all the hype it's not worth all the hype in my opinion there's other lip gloss out there that's probably better i was gonna try the kylie jenner one at shoppers drug mart in canada but when i went there they didn't have it they were out of uh stock but this is your sign to save your money because you ain't need it you don't need it unless you go to church like what do you call those seven days adventist ladies and you can't really you gotta follow the congregation you gotta you, you can only wear skirts very minimal makeup i think this will be good for you like all jokes aside something with a just a little splash of a color will be good for you that way you don't get banned from church because baby and also they do have the like the plum color as well it's just a splash of color like you did something but you didn't really do it if you want to get it get it yeah so for those of you who have been rocking with me again thank you guys so much and uh leave me a comment down below let me know if you know anyone or you yourself um have sleep apnea again if you know someone or you think that there's particular things and ways to like go about it let me know in the comment section down below and then i also have another doctor's appointment in a few weeks to um i'm seeing a nutritionist and again you guys i just want to talk to you guys more so in the up upcoming vlogs i like talk about the stuff that i really want to talk about but for now i am you know going to end the vlog here i'm about to fill out my passport renewal form and get my life together but as always i will catch you guys in the next video